Thanks for joining us tonight at 10. Our top story, a gas leak that forced evacuations at the U of M campus. All of the buildings on the corridor from 19th and University to 10th and University were evacuated. Manhole covers were seen blowing off the streets in that area. Our Rose Schmidt is in Minneapolis tonight. So Rose, it sounds like students are starting to return to their homes now. Yeah, Amy, about an hour ago, we saw students walk back into their dorm after the university gave the all clear. Now, the good news is no one was hurt in this situation, but there is still that question of how gasoline ended up in the sewer system here. Minneapolis firefighters tonight tell us they're trying to figure out the source of the gasoline in the sewer line on the University of Minnesota campus. The evening spent flushing the sewers, trying to mitigate the smell. We've been able to smell gas in our house for like two days. I could smell gas. It smelled like fresh paint. Very like, it, actually, it smelled like fresh paint for a few days now. There were mass evacuations on University Avenue after reports of a loud explosion in the sewer line. Several manhole covers were blown off in the process. The sound was so loud. It was just a, a boom that took me off my feet, put a crook in my neck. It scared me so much. Honestly, I've never heard a sound like that. It's frightening. Didn't see any smoke or clouds or anything but the sound. Firefighters were called to the Delta Tau Delta fraternity house just before 3 this afternoon, where they found smoke and flames in the basement. A big explosion, and it shook our house and the room and people who were in their car. Children at the YMCA and a nearby daycare were also evacuated. MTC buses were made available as temporary shelters. Firefighters tell me there were reports of gas smells in St. Paul yesterday, and they're trying to figure out whether there's a connection there. Meanwhile, uh, authorities will remain on the scene here for, for now, and part of University Avenue is still closed off. The university asks any student who smells a gas odor to give them a call at 612-624-COPS. We'll send it back to you. All right, Rose, thank you. Well, a new set of laws 